I mean, let's just let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. Take your emotions out of this. Take your personal feelings out of out of these guys between 50 Cent and Cassidy. There's one thing that you can learn from both of these guys. One thing. You got to be honest. And I'm biased. Both of these guys are marketing geniuses. They they understand how to market and promote yourself. They understand algorithms and trending. They understand that. They understand the mechanism of social media and how to use it to their advantage. I mean, I'm, I'm on Instagram just now and I'm checking out Instagram. I'm looking at 50, a.k.a. 50. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers owing him money left and right. He's like the human IRS. You know, IRS is obviously a machine, but he's people like Jackie Long. I never even knew that Jackie Long. <laughs> Jack, Jackie Long borrowed money from 50 Cent. And uh, uh, allegedly it's $250,000 that he already paid back, I guess, 51's interest or whatever the case may be. But here's the thing about, you know, being aligned with 50 Cent. Being aligned with 50 Cent, who has over 23, 23 million Instagram followers, is a win for you. Even if you owe 50 Cent's money, that's a win because people know who you are. I'm pretty sure Jackie Long has never, for the past 24 hours or 48 hours, Jackie Long's name has been trending on, on, um, on Instagram because he allegedly owes 50 cent money. But again, this is a win for Jackie because Jackie's name is buzzing, right? Jackie Long's an actor, been in the game for a while. You got guys like Nick Cannon jumping in the fray. You know what I'm saying? Talking about, uh, hey man, 50, we used to dress with these long ass jerseys and shit and, 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 and I'm glad I don't owe you money, I'm rich. And stuff like that, you know what I mean? That, that was hilarious, but you know, I don't know what's really going on with Everybody on 50 Cent Money, you know, he just got money back from uh, a power producer, gave him a million dollars, I guess that's interest. So, you know, 50 is a guy who's just lending out money. He's like a human bank. You know what I mean? Lending out money and shit. And now he's trying to collect, collect his debt. He's like a goddamn the IRS debt collector, whatever the case may be. And, and, you know, that's all a part of him being on top of his game when it comes to promoting and marketing and keeping himself relevant. You know what I'm saying? Because the name is buzzing. And that works the same way for uh, Cassidy and the battle rap culture, the battle rap community, the culture of battle rap. He's keeping battle rap relevant since his presence battling goods before, during, and after the battle. You know, his name is ringing bells. You know what I'm saying? And, and now the rumors are coming around that um, he'll be battling Averb next. Um, Averb did an interview with an uh, angry fan. Was it yesterday or the day before yesterday? He hinted that I got something lined up bigger than Loaded Lux. You know, I guess, um, I guess Angry Fan uh, Caps was kind of act like he was naive. Oh, I don't know what's bigger than Lux. Well, you know what's bigger than Lux. Name-wise, it's Cassidy. You know what's bigger than Mook? Cassidy. So the writing's on the wall, but that's, again, that's a rumor, allegedly. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if that happens next. And also, rumors is, is, is floating around with URL. They just completed, of course, their car... URL resolution and there's rumors floating around that they generated over between four to five million dollars in revenue overall and that's a record-breaking number that's an all-time high that's an all-time high for the URL and I'm pretty sure they want to keep that momentum going by booking Cassidy again because of Cassidy they've never seen that kind of money it's all because of Cassidy's marketing and promotion game. So whatever you feel about these two guys, you guys got to learn from them in terms of marketing and promoting yourself. You know what I'm saying? And, and just just understand their method to their madness. Like, like Cassidy likes to say, the science behind what they're doing. Understand and study that. Don't, you know, whether you think Cassidy won or lost a battle, just learn from them. Learn what they do best. And that's what you got to take away from both of these guys. 50 cent, 50 cent, and 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 <laughs> and uh, Cassidy. Learn from these guys. You know what I'm saying? And apply it to yourself. I'm learning from these guys. So I'm applying, I'm applying it to how, you know, to properly market yourself and keep your name out there and stuff like that and, and, and how they're doing it, you know, their method to their madness. So that's one thing you gotta take both take away from both of these guys is how to market and promote yourself. I think that's I think that's real dope, man. I think that's real dope.
But yeah, man, those are my quick thoughts about that, man. Just, just I was just on Instagram checking it out, and I'm looking at you know 50 Cent. I'm like, damn, this nigga, this dude right here, bro. Like he really knows how to just stay relevant and keep his name out there. You know what I mean? And I just like, well, both of these guys. I I, I use that same logic with 50, with uh that same logic with uh Cassidy as well. So, you know what I mean? Just wanted to make a quick video, family. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Until next time. Chauncey signing out. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at GMOG Media TV. Signing out. Peace.